Hello. Today we only see the concept behind the last non-zero digit in any factorial. Last non-zero digits, last two non-zero digits and so on. For this I have written some factorial. I use on the one basic concept. For the next concepts you should try yourself. I am just using only five factorial for this one. I know the last non-zero digit of five factorial is two. I am going to use this. If we are looking for the 10 factorial and the last non-zero digits, so can I say it's nothing but 1 to 5 factorial and 6 to 10 factorial. Means if we are going for the conjugative bundles starting from 1 to 5 and 6 to 10, means we have two bundles. So the last and again conjugative bundles starting from 1 to 5, that is if starting from 5 and plus 1 till 5, this is the 5n plus 1 till 5n plus 1. If the bundle is starting from 5n plus 1 till 5n plus 1, then the each bundle has the last digit is same of the last digit of the 5 factorial. So it tends with 2 as a non-zero digit. For this has the same bundle 6 divided by 5 remainder is 1 and so on. This has to be 2. Okay, so this bundle has a 2 and this is a multiple of what 1 5 factor is what this will end with a 2 into 1 and this will end with a 2 into 2 so this 2 bundle will end with this one if i take out 2 common so we have 2 into 1 into 2 so can we write this i hope it is clear if i am not i am taking another bundle starting from 11 to 15 factorial means total we are working from the 10 factorial to 15 factorial fine so we have 2 into 1 this will end with a 2 into 1 as a non-zero digit this will end with 2 into 2 as a non-zero digit this will end with what 2 into 3 as a non-zero digit if we take out 2 from all this because since 15 factorial is the multiple of all so this is the multiple there we have 1 2 3 3 2's and 1 into 2 into 3. I hope it is clear. In the bundle of 5, starting from 5 and plus 5 and plus 1, we end the 2 into the multiple quotient of 5. If it is assumed 16 factorial to 20 factorial. So we can say, okay, the total is 20 factorial. We have bundle of 5 starting from 16 to 20. So 2 into 4. So if we take out 2, that is 2, 4 into 4, the last digit of this value would give the last digit of the 20 factorial which would be non-zero digit. I hope it is clear. We work on a bundle of 5, then let's check the multiple. So can we say if we directly write 20 factorial, so we can say 20 factorial is what? 5 into 4, we get a 4 bundle of 5 and for the each bundle we are getting 2. So we get 2 for the 5 bundles that is 2 factorial and for the 20 we have nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 that is 2 raised to all 4 into 4 factorial. So we just try to find the bundle of 5. The number of bundle of 5 will raise the power of 2. Why 2? Because 50 factorial has 5 sorry 5 factorial has 2 as a non-zero digit and the 4 bundles will give 1, 2, 3, 4. I hope it is clear. Can you see? Check with another data. We have to find the last non-zero digit of 20, 30. Can you say in a 30 we have 5 into 6. Means we have a 6 bundles of 5 and for the each bundle of 5 we are getting 2 as a non-zero digit and we are 6 bundles so 2 raised to power 6 into we have a 6 bundle for the each bundle we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 6 is 6 factorial. And the last digit of the 2 raised to power 6 we know would be 4 and 6 factorial end with how much? 2. The total is what? 8. After the calculation we are looking for the non-zero digit in the last digit of this calculation. So 30 factorial has 8 as the end without any zeros. I hope it is clear. Can we say? Use the same concept for the bigger number. Take 100 factorial. If we go for the 100 factorial we have 20 bundles of 5. So we are not working a bundle of 5, but we work in a bundle of 25. 
So how many bundle of 25 we have? We have four bundles of 25, and each bundle of 25 end with four. So each bundle end with four. We have four such bundles that is four raised to power four, and the four bundles means one into two into three into four into four factorial. Four raised to power four end with six, and four factorial is 24. We are taking just four. 6 into 4 is 24, the last digit is 4, so the non zero digit of 100 factorial is 4. I hope it is clear. Can we work which is not divisible by 5 or 25? Take number 52, which is not divisible by 5 and 25. You can work in a 5 or 25. I am working with a 25. So, can you say how many bundle of 25? 50 into 2, that is the we can have a 50. Two, so we can only work with the 50 factorial that is 50 into 2. We do not have a proper method for the 52. So we work with the 50 factorial is 20 into this one. If we find the last zero of this one, non-zero digit, we can find the 51 and 52 too. So what is the value for this? We have 24, we have 4 as an int, 24, 4 is 100, so that is 4, 2 bundles into 2 factorial. How many extra we have? We have extra as a multiplication of 51 and 52. If we work in this, we have extra 51 and 52. Work till 50. If we multiply 51 and 52, you will get 52 factorial. We are looking for the non-zero digit means unit digit. So unit digit of this is 1 and 2. 1 and 2 is nothing but 2 factorial. So total is 6 into 2 into 2. That means 4, 24, 4. So, 4 would be the last non zero digit of 52. In some books or the online materials, you are getting what? 52 is right in the 25 into 2 plus 2 or 5 into 10 plus 2. Means write 52 in the term of 5a plus b. Bundle of 5 is a times so 2 raised to power a, then a is what? A factorial because we have a 10, so 1, 2, 3 till 10, and the B is what 2, so that would be 2 factorial extra. Means here B is the B factorial. So this is the general term. But the concept is same, we are working in a bundle of 5, an extra 1, extra 2, extra 3, or and so on. Okay, I hope it is clear. We can work if the number is in the multiple of 125, we can work in a 125. Take the question is 251 factorial. What is the last non zero digit? 251 is what? 125 into 2 plus that is we reached till 250 into extra is what? 251. This is for the 250 factorial. We have extra is 251. Okay, we have extra of what? 251. For this 125 end with a 8. It's very easy to remember because it's a 5 cube, so end with 2 cube, 5 square, end with 2 square, and so on. So 125 end with 8, and we have 2 bundles. So into 2 for the 2 bundles, we have 1 into 2, and uh, we are looking for 251 extra 1 into 1. So this is 6 into 2. Total is 2. So the end digit without any zeros or the Last non zero digit would be 2 for the 251. I hope it is clear. We are using the same concept non zero two digits from the right hand side. Cat or the JAT, even JAT, will stop here only. But by the way, if they ask non zero digits or the non two zero digits, we use the same concepts. Okay. So please check the last two non zero digits by using the concept. We have 10 factorial. How we find the last two non-zero digits? Starting from a small number. So 10 factorial, how many bundle of 5 factorial? There is a 2 bundle of 5 factorial. And what is the last two digit of the 5 factorial? It's nothing but 12. So we work in a bundle of 12. In the previous question, we are working only for the two because we are looking for the last digit. We are looking for the last two digit. Expect the or the sorry, accept the zeros. We have 12 left out and for how many 12s? We have 2 bundles of 12 to power 2 and we have 2 means again 1 into 2 that is 1 into 2 that is 2 factorial and 12 square is 44 
Here I am taking two digits because we are looking for the last two non-zero digits into two. That is nothing but 88. So the 10 factorial end with 88. If and some trailing zeros, you know there will be two trailing zeros. We can calculate anything if you are looking for the last two non-zero digits. I am taking working on a number 22. You work with me. That is 22 factorial. How many bundle of 5? 5 has a 4 bundles. So we work till 20. If we work in a 5 into 4, that means we are working for a 20 factorial. And 22 is what? Extra 21 into 22. For the bundle of 5, we have nothing but 12. And the 4 bundle is the power 4. For the 4 bundles, we have 1 into 2 into 3 into 4, that is 4 factorial. And here we are working for the last 2 digits, so I am not going to take 1 and 2, I am going to take complete 21 and 22. Okay, we calculate the last 2 digits of everyone and multiply. And we will get the last 2 digit would be the last 2 digit of the 22. So this is a concept. How we are working or generating the formula which is written in everywhere 10 factorial or the n factorial for the last non-zero digit is 5a plus b term and that a and b is 2 raised to power a into a factorial into b factorial. The concept behind this formula is the same for the 5 factorial if the last digit is 2 and power is what number of bundles of 5 plus extra b. For the last two digits non zero, there is no use for the cat or the jack, just for the concept. I am working for if you are working for this, instead you can write 5a plus b or anything. What do you want to write? 5a is till the multiple of 5 and the extra. And for the last two digits, we are working for the 12. So we work 12 raised to power a into a factorial into we are not working for the b factorial we are working for the last two digits so extra if you are working for the 22 so extra 21 and 22 into some values until this we reach till n and calculate and get this is a complete concept video not for the calculation of n digit or anything this might help you in your examination but I guess if you know the concept, you can use in other questions. Okay. Thank you.